All right, Pisces, welcome to your weekly horoscope for February 2nd through the 8th, Monday through Sunday. My name is Athen. All right, so we've got an emphasis on your fifth house where we have the full moon taking place on Tuesday in that fifth house, sort of illuminating the whole week, especially the first part of the week. And this is going to be a very energetic week, actually, because uh, it starts off with that full moon, and then by the time it ends, it's still in the third quarter phase. So lots of energy uh, you know, available to us, and especially for you regarding the fifth house, which is your creativity, your self-expression, your playful side, children. For those of you who have children, spending time with your children. Uh, for you artists out there, getting creative. Uh, entrepreneurs, this is a time for you to, uh, you know, could be a very highlighting time in terms of your work or career if you've been recently putting a lot of energy into that stuff over the past six months. It's essentially anything that you create or is your sense of self-expression. Coming to a culmination if you've been putting energy into those things for the past six months, but in general feeling quite good about it uh, because this full moon is very close to Jupiter, which is going to give this very optimistic sort of energy. So definitely tap into that. See the possibility. See the optimism of this part of your life. It's a beautiful place for this kind of full moon, actually. And it's trining up to Pluto and Uranus, which I'll talk about. But anyways, that's on Tuesday, sort of uh, the overall theme of this week. But let's look on Monday. On Monday, we have the sun sextiling up to Uranus. The sun's been transiting your 11th house, which is where you have Mercury retrograde at the moment, too. So you guys have definitely had the opportunity and will continue for the next two weeks to enjoy your groups, friends, anything humanitarian level. On that humanitarian level, giving back, being of service, perhaps connecting to your work on a very deep level. That's the 11th house, second from the 10th. What you're really connected to in your work, are you really enjoying it under the surface? For what it is uh, but you can be that's the whole point of this transit is seeing the, the passion that is alive in this part of your life which is you know the 11th house so mercury's re mercury's retrograde so there is this reflection about the whole thing too which is perfectly good and normal uh, but definitely uh, enjoy these uh, 11th house things get amongst friends early in the week uh, even the previous weekend leading into it would be a great weekend for you. But Monday and Tuesday, friends, groups, anything like this that's uh, what you would consider groups or uh, humanitarian or giving back or being of service in some way. You can find that very exciting Monday and Tuesday. Now on Tuesday, like I said, we have that full moon. It's in that fifth house, creativity, self-expression. Express yourself uh, this week and uh, especially around Tuesday. Reflect, see the abundance of the things that you, that you enjoy in life and... Uh, with Jupiter there too, you guys have had a lot of uh, opportunities for you to express yourself and to enjoy these elements of life too, the things that put a smile on your face. Now he's retrograde, so there is perhaps some reflection, some rethinking in terms of these fifth house things. That's per perfectly natural, normal right now too, but in either case, it's, it, we are talking about Jupiter. So see the abundance. It might take a little bit of the, uh, it might probably a lot of internal stuff actually too with the retrograde is see the abundance of creativity that you have inside, the passion that you have, tap into it. You're in the highlight of the passionate time of uh, this lunar cycle, but also, like I said, over the past, uh, you know, if you've been putting energy into these things for the past six months. Now, on Thursday, we've got Mercury sextiling up to Saturn, which is a very positive aspect from uh, Saturn. It's an opportunity here to put in some work, and it has to do with your... Uh, um, spirituality, which is where Venus has been transiting in your 12th house. Essentially anything behind the scenes, you know, your meditative time, all these things you can definitely be enjoying uh, this week and have been perhaps uh, in regards to these uh, spiritual things is, you know, do the meditation, you know, perhaps get involved with the spiritual workshop. Spend that time alone in that healthy sort of sense, you know, get in, you know, get introspective a little bit. All these things you can find very enjoyable. You're definitely motivated by them, too, with Mars there. Um, but with Venus and Saturn making an aspect this week, definitely an emphasis, especially around Thursday, to continue to, um, you know, put energy towards the uh, 12th house sort of matters. And you'll find that very uh, productive, actually, with Saturn because that's just how it is. You'll be able to see the big picture, maybe even gain some insights around it. And be, see what needs to be, not needs to be done, but what can be done. What can be done in the 12th house for you to enjoy that part of your life more. Now on Friday, we have an opposition between the sun and Jupiter, which is a balancing energy of this whole full moon, which is where this, you know, this uh, 11th house and 5th house meet. Where you do have this sort of a creativity, self-expression, and enjoyment 
possibility. You also do have, you know, this concern for others, which is the 11th house and Mercury retrograde there, thinking about how to be more of service, how to be more group or how you can be more group related. And then balance, balancing these two together is really what you want to do. You don't want to go to one extreme or the other. You don't want to just focus on service work at the expense of your own fun and enjoyment. And then, you, of course, you don't want to just go to the extreme of just expressing yourself, having fun, and then, you know, the things that you actually value in the larger sense of life, like your friends and your, your ideals and things are, you know, not getting the attention that they need. So if you find that middle ground between the fifth and the 11th, which is essentially anything that puts a smile on your face and puts a smile on, on uh, others' faces, especially the, the world or the, the community in some way, then you're totally in sync and this can be a very positive week, very enjoyable week. It will be anyways or can be, I should say, um, but um, definitely around Friday when we have this aspect. Now, Saturday and Sunday, we have Venus sex dialing up to Pluto which is, uh, again, a positive opportunity. This whole week is loaded with sex dials, so it is really just opportunistic. You can choose to do these things or not. That's just the nature of the sex dial. But on Saturday and Sunday, I would definitely get involved with friends. That's going to be the message for everybody with Pluto and Venus. But um, get in touch with these spiritual things that I was talking about. Maybe it is having, uh, you know, uh, some fun with friends doing spiritual things, you know, or maybe it's doing those spiritual things and then meet, meeting people in the process. There's this whole connection between spiritual stuff and your relationships and enjoying it. So I think if you just put energy into those spiritual matters, you'll find it very enjoyable all over the weekend. And it's a very deep enjoyment, too, because that's what Pluto represents is this really deep, powerful uh, enjoyment of them. Again, positive aspects with the Uranus Pluto square. All these, most of these, I think all of them actually are positive. Yeah, all positive aspects towards all these major shifts that are taking place with this Uranus Pluto square uh, this week, in terms of, in this sense, enjoying your um, yourself, enjoying yourself and giving back and being of service in some way. Now, on Sunday, we have. Uh, a topping off of the week with Venus going over Chiron. You guys are perhaps healing some things on the spiritual level with Chiron in that 12th house. But Venus going over there is this sort of final rejuvenation, feeling good. It's a very positive aspect. I think feeling very healed or just feeling very rejuvenated in general in regards to your spirituality stuff, especially if you've been putting energy towards those things uh, over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. All right, Pisces. Well, I hope you guys have a great week. I want to thank you all very much for all of your support. And if you'd like a personal reading, please get in touch and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.